Hi people, little update now. You all know about the Trafford Council um, injunction against me, so I can't take any pictures of the council and all this sort of stuff. Um, here's a little update. The solicitor who works for, well, who I'm dealing with at Trafford Council, uh, who's employed by Trafford Council, I believe, um, I found a, an interesting story on him. Um, his name's James Parry, and he, he was part of a firm uh, by Parry and Walsh in Liverpool. Um, basically, um, I'll read a few quotes out. These aren't my words, these are published words, what are in the press, yeah. Um, first of all, I'm reading from, reading from the Law Society Gazette. I'll post links into everything, what I'm going to say now, so you can read it all. Um, a law firm that was accused of serious misconduct by bringing private pros prosecutions that a judge said were without merit is to close down. Last November, the Honorary Recorder of Manchester, Judge Nicholas Dean QC, said that the prosecutions brought by APS and Parry and Walsh were an abuse of the court's process. He said the two, organi two organisations may have been engaged in systematic fraud and perverting the course of justice by bringing and pursuing prosecutions with no evidential basis for wholly improper reasons and purposes. Well, this sounds a bit familiar. Um, they've been out and got a court injunction on me, yeah, saying I've been threatening behaviour, uh, intimidating behaviour at the council. But when it was at Stretford Town Hall, I was with a security guard at all times. And when I was in Sale Town Hall, I was with, I left, I went and saw the manager with the police and asked James, who was the manager at the time, you know, how was my uh, attitude and that. He said I was polite. So basically, this looks like Trafford Council are just trying to shut me up. I'll read a few more quotes, yeah. It says, Judge Dean, now I'm reading from the story from the Liverpool Echo, which I will uh, push out to you. Yeah? Judge Dean also said that he would ensure a copy of his judgment was sent to the police and other authorities. He said, the concern I have is that APS, sometimes in conjun conjunction with Messrs Perry and Welsh, may have been involved in systematic fraud and perverting the course of public justice. I have concerns that indi individuals may have pleaded guilty to offences in the magistrate's court as a as a conscience oh sorry consequence of being misled by APS and possibly Mrs and Parry uh, Mrs Parry and Welsh or without scrutiny taking place for our actions. In all the circumstances, all the circumstances, I intend to send a copy of this judgment with separate, separate statements and exhibited material produced in the case of Mrs Carrigan and Mrs Brown and a copy of the H.H. H. George, oh, sorry, H. H. Judge Lloyd's judgment to the Attorney General's office, to Greater Manchester Police, to the Charities Commission and to the Solicitor's Regulations Authority. It will be those, for those bodies to decide whether we further investigate. Now, this is the person Trafford Council are employing, yeah? And from what I can gather, uh, this solicitor had to close his practice down in January 22. So this is all very fresh. I don't know if there's any further investigation going on through the CPS and the courts and the Chariots Commission because obviously they won't publish them um, but another extract from the story in the Liverpool Echo quote from the judge he said in my judgment and based on the material put before me relevant to Miss Carrigan and Miss Brown 
The primary reasons APS, with the support of Mrs. Parry and Welsh, commenced proceedings against Miss Carrigan and Miss Brown to seek to punish them, quite regardless of whether they had in fact committed any offence, and to recover fees at least at a grossly exaggerated in terms of both prosecutors and litigators' fee fees levels. I cannot go so far to say what has occurred was systematic fraud, but the breakdown of the prosecutors and litigators' fees do not stand up to scru scru oh, sorry, scrutiny. The judge said, in the evidence of both cases consisted of near identical two page witness statements made by the employees of APS, which he said must have been copied and pasted from other statements. So, you've got a judge, what, a slander solicitor, reported him to. Where do you report him to? The Attorney General's office. Greater Manchester Police to the Chari Charities Commission and the Solicitor's Regulation Authority. Must be quite serious if you've been sent to all that sort of stuff. And I wonder if Trafford Council know about this, um, Mr. James Parry. Um, I don't know. W would you think he was a fit and proper person to work for the council when he's been accused of all these things. Don't know if he's been to court, don't know if his name's been cleared yet. No, the allegations have been made by a judge. Um, you tell me. I'd be very interested in any feedback on this and if people would leave comments, please, and let me know what's happening. I'll leave links in the... Um, article uh, a link to the a link to the Liverpool Echo um, this story I think it was November 2021 um, his business closed down I think it was in January 2022 and if I can get this one here, is a date on this? Yes, it was also published um, in the Law Society Gazette in the 4th of January 2022. I'll put a link into that one as well. I'll also put a link into um, the actual summary from the case. So if anybody wants to read that and go through it. So just bear in mind... The words what I've just spoken are not my words. They are the, the words of Judge... Ooh, where's he gone? Nicholas Dean QC. Yeah? And it's all been printed in the press. So, you tell me if you think this is Trafford Council trying to shut me up. Yeah? Or is this Mr Parry trying to bump up fees again? Hey, let's take as many people to court for filming in a public place, which isn't illegal. I've got witnesses and I've got it all on film. But he's gone to court and said I was abusive and intimidating to people. So I'll end it there. Um, if you can let me know, I very much appreciate it. And speak to you soon. Thank you.